You know, the beautiful thing about hanging out with Mimi Torchin is whenever the soap stars walk off the stage, they always whisper to you where the big parties are, see? Oh, yeah, and, and, and I go to all of you're them. You're the one to follow around. Now, we know how you like to get the biggest scoops on not only the parties, but the soap stars themselves. Well, let me ask, where do you go? to get all of that scoop. Do you do you do you watch E247? Maybe. Do you listen to the radio? No. Do you thumb through a nice leafly so magazine? Opera Weekly. Ah. So if you're wondering how we get all those great cover stories and get all of those high profile actors to tell us all of their secrets, watch and learn. I'm watching. It's a great magazine. It covers the news of the industry. We also do profiles and um, well, everything that anybody would be interested in about the soaps. This is our 10th anniversary. November will be um, 10 years since our first edition hit the stand. First the Tony Geary, then we have to look for the Susan Lucci interview. I think okay. We were the first magazine that you could pick up and read about what you were watching on TV as you watched it. We are sort of known as the industry bible. The cover of Soap Opera Weekly is like the gift wrapping on, a, on a, our package. We'll get a pitch and I'll decide whether that's a newsworthy cover. Look at that body. We base our covers on different factors depending on what's happening. I get all the information and usually go to the cover shoot, which is about two weeks before we go to press. And we shoot it and I speak with the actors. And then after that, I just go back to my desk and write it. Mimi usually comes up with the headline. She's very good at that. <laughs> they call me the headline queen. Uh, joining all my children, AMC. We try to tie in as many stories as possible on a cover. Um, we like to make sure all networks are covered. So there's something for everybody. One well, of the most difficult part is getting the best cover. We have some uh, changes in issue 22. Um, the most difficult part is to make it interesting. Right. Because even if the story is good, you still have to write it in a way that will be interesting to the reader. Kim Zimmer and Robert Newman, A, are two very popular. The fans have been waiting for their remarriage. Weddings are always fun to have on the cover. They were having fun at this photo shoot, and the photographer captured this moment between them, and it works perfectly for a cover. There's a lot of competition for cover stories. Our cover is a great place to be. It's a family thing up on our stage oh, now. Oh, absolutely. Well, we have one of uh, Guiding Light's favorite ex-couples. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, Jerry Verdorn and Elizabeth Kiefer. Elizabeth, stick your head in here, Hi. Liz. And Jerry has his two darling boys, and I'd like him to introduce them. Jake? Which way? Jake? Immediately to my left. There's this is Jake. Peter Verdorn. Oh, Peter. I always get him mixed He's up. He's 13, and uh, to his left is Jake There's Verdorn, who's 15. Uh, are you guys uh, proud of your dad? Yeah. Very proud. Yeah. Uh, we'd like to see him win another one. Yeah. <laughs> where does he? Uh, would you like to tell me where he keeps the other one? In his office. In his office? In my office, yes. Yeah. Yeah, they well, do. And no, I did not buy their tuxedos. I'm not going to buy $2,000 tuxedos for still growing boys. Well, I haven't won that many. That's right. I would never even have thought that you would have. It ran through your mind. Maybe I could tell. All right. You know, I always worry about those things. So um, what did you submit this year? Uh, you probably asked Liz Kiefer that, but I think I submitted about the only two days I had. Um, last year. It was kind of thin, but it was uh, good material because it was with Liz and it was about our breakup. So. Actually, Liz, I remember reading in Soap Opera Weekly when we had the reels that it was uh, Jerry's reels were, uh, Blake does this and Blake does that. <laughs> Oh, really? I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you should be up for Best Supporting Actress. I mean, she really. Should, indeed. Well, anyway, I wish you loads and loads of luck. Oh, thank you, sir. You know how much I love the show. I'm a big Guiding Light fan. Boys, have a wonderful time tonight. You thank look you. very, very handsome. Maybe you'll be the next generation of Ross 2 and Ross 3. I, yes. think he, I think he's grooming them. <laughs> See you, fellas. Thanks a lot. They thank can you. be the twins right, when they're grown up. Hey, wouldn't that be wonderful? Hey. All right. Look at this beautiful woman. Oh, my woman. God. Looking just wow. like a princess. <laughs> look at, look 